your hand, wave your hand, wave your hand, come and say carry on. Wave your hand, wave your hand, wave your hand, come your number one. I'm ready for the competition. Yeah. You don't take intimidation. Yeah. Hey, hey. Woman or man, we have no one. This is how we play the game. All right, let's switch it up now. We're switching all focus to cricket. Barbados Royals will be aiming to follow the Falcons and Kings in delivering a victory as a send-off to home fans when they face St. Kitts and Nevis Patriots in match 18 of the Republic Bank Caribbean Premier League. This at the Kensington Oval in Bridgetown later on Tuesday. This will be the second meeting between the two teams with the Royals getting the better of the Patriots in match nine by two wickets 11 days ago. Well, the Royals are coming off a 32-run win over the defending champions, Guyana Amazon Warriors, while the Patriots have been on a six-game losing streak. Barbados Royals, who lead the table ahead of St. Lucia Kings on net run rate, will confirm their playoff berth with a win tonight. Well, defeat for the Patriots would also confirm their elimination from playoff contention as they sit bottom of the table on two points. Ghana Amazon Warriors and Trinbago Knight Riders are third and fourth respectively on six points, separated by net run rate. Ricardo team, Antigua and the Barbuda Falcons are fifth with four points from eight matches. So team, a lot of excitement, a lot of things to look forward to, a lot on the line when it comes to this match, especially for the St. Kitts and Nevis Patriots. And I just want to add that Jeremiah Louis comes into the Patriots setup. He uh, replaces Schiff in Rutherford that had to leave uh, the team for personal reasons. So they're up against a team that, you know, has been doing really well. How do you see tonight going? Lance, your first. I, I have to take the Royals based on current form, but the Patriots have on their roster players who can win matches for them. So their current record of uh, six losses in a row is, 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 is awful for them. And it's, it's, it's sort of disappointing that they haven't been able to get more, more wins on the, on, or ticks on the wind column. But I would take the Royals to win this one just based on, on the current form of the two teams. Yeah, you know, Ricardo, I've sat for quite some time. We discussed it, I think, last week, trying to pinpoint where the Patriots went wrong because as Lance spoke about their roster, when you look at them on paper, and at the start of the CPL season, I remember myself saying, you know, all of these teams look dangerous. All the teams had looked really balanced, but it really came down to the chemistry, the gelling, um, executing on a particular match day. And for the Patriots, a six-game losing streak doesn't speak well. Well, it doesn't, and they're on the verge of being unable to advance to the playoffs if they aren't able to pull off a win tonight. And even if they do win their remaining matches, there's still no guarantee that they will get into the playoffs. But you mentioned the fact that Jeremiah Lua will come into the side. His brother, Mikhail Lua, has been brilliant as far as I'm concerned this tournament. He's really impressed me because when I watch him in test cricket, what he's been able to produce in this T20 format is not what I expected to be quite honest he's been very good 187 runs in the tournament so far he is what fifth on the the charts he's averaging 37.40 he has scored two half centuries and he's played some really good innings especially at the back end for the St. Kitts and Nevis Patriots unfortunately they haven't been able to capitalize on those and you are right Mariah consistency matters you have to be able to go out there and get the job I'm done match in match out um gosh I, I really shouldn't be saying this but just quickly i remember ahead of the t20 world cup when um darren sammy the west indies head coach said that he felt the current batting lineup was better than the lineups that had won um, T20 World Cup titles. And I thought to myself, no, no, no. And the reason why I thought to myself, no, 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 is because in those World Cup winning teams, you had batsmen who you could almost guarantee would get you runs, um, especially in, 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 in those big games. I mean, players like Chris Gale and um, Lendell Simmons and even a Marlon and Samuels Daniel. coming to the fore. And then you had all the power at the back end. And I think for St. Kitts and Nevis Patriots, they have a lot of quality players, but they're just not in the type of form where you can depend on them match in, match out. Mm. But hey, 
have to go with Royals to win tonight. Yeah, yeah I just want to say quickly to add to the point that you were making about Mikhail Lewin and how impressive he, is, he has been. Um, you said he had played some really strong innings. I would, I would be more specific to say that I've seen some shots from him that are really, really impressive. There's something about his batting style and his bat speed that 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 Im, Im, impresses me, and yeah. I, I think similar to, it's it's like Kyle Mears. Kyle Mears has some shots in his in his Exciting arsenal. We shots. just don't see them often enough. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I agree with you, but he has some shots that when you see them, <laughs> you know, it boggles your mind. Yeah. And and Mikhail Louis has some of those shots. He 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 pulls. He takes balls from outside his off stump, smashes them over mid wicket, and his bat speed and his front foot play. Very, very impressive for me. And I, 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 I take the point that you made, Ricardo, about when you see him bat in test cricket, you're seeing a different kind of player. Obviously, a different kind of approach is required. So, <laughs> fine, yeah, we accept that. But what I'm seeing from him in, in white ball cricket is very, very impressive. And his ability to make the adjustment to me speaks volumes for his overall quality. Yes, yeah, yeah. like in Test Cricket, you're watching Mikhail Louis and then in the CPL, you're seeing his twin brother. Yes, <laughs> for real, it's, it's, it's amazing. I quite like him as a player. That's a good way to put it, Ricardo. Well, you know, no game was played on Monday, but we'll still have the Angostura play of the day. This comes from the first meeting between these two teams in match number nine. Oh. oh my goodness, oh my goodness, that is spin from outside the leg stump, past the bat and onto the stumps. It's a little bit of Shane Warne in reverse. Someone who is often known more for his drift and swing that he gets, but this time it's the turn off the surface. Again, we've spoken about the wear and tear of this pitch, straight away. Well, speaking about Kyle Mayers and not getting enough of those shots, did you all see this before? Well, I did not. I did, but first of all, right, I mean, the producer went all the way back to match nine uh, yes. to find us a, a play of the day because he's thinking, yeah, they're not going to remember what else happened in this game. And this was so impressive <laughs> that you have to say, Mr. Producer, you got it right. Yeah. He's been getting it right a lot these days, yeah. but... We're going to have to run from this segment because we're making way for the CPL, which will start at 5 to 7. I'll probably be back with the zone of day two. Stay and find out. Every yeah. 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 ye